get in the door so we have some privacy when we uh, when we get dressed. Another day, same project. <laughs> what are you doing? I am sanding this board down. It looks different than the other boards that we've ever sanded. So we have a painter here. He just gives the paintbrush to the wife and she takes care of that. You gonna pay me for this? I'll pay you. Are you? Yeah, I'll do the drilling. And then this is the other one right here, guys. It's good to have two sets of sawhorses just for stuff like this. We just used a high gloss Horrible white paint. acrylic paint. So this is a door, it's half painted. We painted one side really, really good. I mean, it's like really glossy. See how glossy it is, guys? It's been wet and gross outside. Okay, so we're back. This is the third day, because we had a lot going on. So we're gonna put this big board up here. It's all painted real nice. We painted the door real nice, both side. Both side, painted both side. So we're hanging our first board now. For some reason, I thought they were every 12, but apparently I was the wrong. The front ones are every 12 inches. These are every 16. I was wrong. Anyway. I'm gonna be Vanna White. The board I painted all day yesterday. Bullshit. Beard conditioner? Yeah. Girly stuff. Don't no, get... it's not girly Beard stuff. Beard wash. Thank you, Freddie, for the gift. You're welcome. Are you gonna put it on every day? Sure, why not? Oh, it's very scruffy. Nice and tight. I countersink the bolts so we can smudge them with stuff later and make them disappear. One of our favorite fans sent us this just now. My sister. My sister Kimberly sent this to me. 80 millimeter, it's a purple lens, so it stops that no. color. It's a blue lens, so it stops that color, you know, the color in your face. Remember, remember it was two orange or videos where I just put it on and no. we're gonna finish a door install, but I just wanted to show you guys this. No more Oompa Loompa. No more Oompa Loompa. Kim says, you sound so stupid when you say lens. Fil when you say filter, a lens, you gotta say filter, it's a filter. Sorry guys, it's a filter. Freddie is making some holes for the brackets. I measured it from here to here and here to there and I measured the brackets. You're gonna hang the door up. It's really like, it's a lot of estimate, estimation, estimating, estimating. Oh, I thought it was the, I thought it was the wrong side of the door. I just drilled a hole through it. I'm like, let me check. It's the right side. Woo, that would have sucked bad. Towels that we have laying around, these brown ones. We use them for tile. We use them for <laughs> now we got a problem here because this is still loose, these bolts, and they're tapped out all the way. So how far have you gone? It's a little bit tricky. You got to get this level because then when you hang the door, it goes, it'll just roll open or roll shut. And you got to have it level, and it's really hard to get level with these lag bolts. What I did is I just kind of put the level on them. Uh, it's hard to explain. But I don't know if I got it perfect, but pretty close. Once we're done, he's going to trim this out with some board, and then he's going to put a small piece of thin trim over here too. Boop, are you ready? You ready? There he goes. You taping it? Yep. Oh, snap, we got a door. Wait, the, the final test, ready? Oh, we don't have the stoppers. We gotta it's put more, the stoppers. It's more level than that professional. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Let's get the stoppers on. We gotta put the stoppers on. We had to buy the stopper or the tracker separate. These stoppers come with the rubber bump stops. They're like all cast aluminum with rubber. But the but the tracker, to track it on the ground so the door doesn't do this, look. Don't swing like that back and forth this way. You had to buy an extra, it's like 15 bucks extra. It's like $35 for the whole kit here. And then $15 for that and then $50, uh, $44 for the door and some white paint. So under hundred bucks, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the piece that we bought, the extra bump stop piece that a bunch of other people have bought. Or it's not a bump stop, it's the tracker. It keeps the door, Put the, it, camera the, on the, the table. door goes in here. Fred? Now the kit that we bought also comes with this. And it's actually like a little cheap plastic piece. And they what they want you to do is they want you to router out the bottom of your door, which is a lot of work, honestly, and it'll slide through Who has this. A router? But a we don't have a router number saw. one. A or a table saw, so for the extra fifteen dollars, this was worth it to us. And it's really super heavy duty. We were really impressed by how thick the steel is with the whole system that, that it came with. You, Ross could probably hang from those brackets up there. And that's it guys. Check it out, we'll get the bump stops on there. We just have to fill those little screw holes in. 
put some putty and then some more paint and then um, that's it right here and that's all there is to it guys we have to put the um, trim inside the doorway we're gonna do that later because the door just on hooks you can put it in later and you guys are gonna say yes Ross you didn't leave enough room for the top trim but I don't want the top trim I want that as my top trim and I'm just gonna put side trims on it see the side of moldings I wanted this much of a gap under the door so my air conditioning can breathe the reason why I put the board up there to offset it so we can get the trim on later that's what that's what that whole board's for right there a couple days of painting and some uh, we have to get a handle for it yet. Yeah, we got to get a handle and, and that's about it. So that's about it. If you guys want to do this yourself, you can do it yourself. Just take your time because that measuring that top rod, that the, the rail that it ride, that rides on that track, you have to get that level or when you open your door, when you close your door, it'll just reopen on you. Like a, it's like a ghost, you know? If you do it wrong, it'll be go, a ghost. You don't want that. You want to do it right. You have you, ghosts coming into your room so if you, it's not right. I think the painting was the hardest part. The painting wasn't that bad, but... I actually thought that the rod part that it sits on was the hardest part. Yeah, because if I was afraid I was going to get that wrong and you have holes like this big, your lag bolts. So. And the thing is, it comes in two separate sections. So, and then there's a, they meet in the middle and then one of them goes in the middle to strengthen it all up. Right. And when he first put that one on, I was like, oh no, it's crooked. Where it's going to be a mess. That's but what once you about. put it all together and you put them there, it was all it worked out good so try to do it yourself guys for under 100 bucks we have like a 35 dollars into it 40 50 we have 90 with paint and everything probably about 105 really but really the hardware itself and the door and everything else by the time we buy a handle i'd say about 100 bucks right under 100 bucks we had the paint kicking around so we're going to count, count this as a 95 dollar deal maybe 100 if it, we would have made the door ourselves we could have probably gotten it cheaper but yeah we're not going to make a door i mean if you're a woodworker and you got the tools and stuff make the door if you're not buy a door they're only like the, this was a wide door too. We got an extra. You want? Oh, one more hint. And this is super important. The biggest thing you have to know about putting this door in is make sure you get a bigger door than your rough RO opening. So the rough opening where your two by fours are, where your wall is, say if you had cheap drywall on there, you okay. want to get two in, three, two to three inches long wider, because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to look at an angle and you're going to see through the doors into the room. You want to cover that door. It's not like a door where you open and close. You want to cover it. You still. See so some on the sides, but once he puts the frame up, we'll be we should be okay. Yeah, once you put the frame up and everything, it's gonna be. It's, see, there's a big gap like this, but the frame's gonna gap it like that, so there's gonna be a tiny little gap in there. It'll be fine. Have you guys ever seen that movie called Into the Mist? Yeah. That's what it looks like outside of our house right now. Into the Mist. It literally looks like Into the Mist. Gosh, look at his filter. Kimmy was right, huh? I mean, look at we look. We don't look orange anymore. I got like a dark, dark blue, blue like like a cop. You ever see a cop? You know, a, a cop car with the blue lights on the top? That's how dark that blue len lens is. And is it a lens or a filter? The filter, that's how- It's a filter. That's how she's, Kimmy's lost it about now. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy says, if you say lens one more time and not filter, I think I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> do you think we could use your- Kimmy got that for us for Christmas. Do you think we could use your beard wash and your beard oil on Doodle? We can use the beard oil on Booby. Cause she's got a beard. So what do you guys think? She's got attitude. Do you guys think we should use it on Boop? The beard oil. Beard cream. See you guys, love you. Do it yourself. Pass the video around if you want to do it yourself and you want your friends to do it. Oh, this guy made a cool barn door. Well, we didn't make the barn door. We bought it at Lowe's and Home Depot or wherever we went. I don't know. Maybe someday if we get smart, maybe in the new house we'll do that. But um, I, I, I definitely want to do that in the new house. That's cool. <sighs> See you guys. Bye. Love you. Happy New Year.